Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, the chapter more. And we are going to consider um, the example of a question that was there in the KCC 2019, question seven. Uh, please remember to share, to subscribe, and um, share for more uh, videos. So, um, when it comes to the mall, um, mall is just a simple um, concept which is always tested in paper one, paper two, and also majorly in paper three. Now, there are three basic formulas that we are going to use uh, to calculate questions of mall. Uh, how we can calculate mole? Uh, mole, um, we say mole uh, is equal to uh, mass uh, all over the earth m, or the relative formula mass. That is the first formula that we can use when we are calculating questions of uh, the mole. Uh, another formula that we can use is um, uh, molarity. Uh, is equals to number of moles uh, all over the volume used uh, used multiplied by uh, one thousand uh, cubic uh, centimeters or one liter. Molarity is always calculated in uh, moles per liter, or we can uh, also calculate molarity using uh, grams per liter. We can also say our concentration molarity uh, is equal to grams per liter all over R of M. Now, with these three formulas, we can calculate all questions of mole uh, regardless of the uh, question, regardless of the question, now we are going to apply uh, the three formulas in our questions here. Um, when we consider a question of uh, KCSC 2019, uh, a solution containing 40.3 grams of uh, substance X uh, hydroxide per liter, um, 50, 250 cubic centimeters of this solution required 30 cubic centimeters of 0 0.3 molar uh, sulfuric 6 acid for complete neutralization. Now, uh, the question is, calculate the number of moles, calculate the number of moles of uh, X hydroxide that reacted. Now, we begin by, uh, we begin by uh, writing a balanced chemical uh, equation. We begin by calculating balanced chemical uh, equation, then from there we can uh, uh, calculate. We say, um, so we write a balanced chemical equation, X hydroxide uh, reacting with uh, uh, dilute sulfuric six acid, uh, aqueous. This is a base and this is an acid. And of course, when you react a base and an acid, you're going to get uh, a salt and uh, uh, water, a salt and uh, uh, water. So we say uh, X sulfate, X uh, sulfate, aqueous plus uh, uh, water, X sulfate plus uh, water. Uh, the reason why we have said it is X2 um, SO4 simply because uh, X hydroxide is monobasic. And uh, when we react it with a dibasic acid, we are going to get a balance of uh, two. So we balance the uh, equation by saying, um, balance by putting the two there, because we have one x and we have uh, two x. With that, we are going to get um, then we are going to get a balanced chemical uh, equation. The equation is now uh, balanced. Back to our question, uh, we are told a solution containing 40.3 grams of uh, substance of X hydroxide per liter, 250 cubic centimeters of this solution required 0.3 molar of the sulfuric 6 acid for um, 
oblique neutralization. So, uh, 0 0.3 molar, uh, the molarity of a sulfuric acid is 0 0.3, then the volume is 30 cubic uh, centimeters. Uh, we can calculate the number of moles of sulfuric acid, then we compare it with the number of moles of, uh, uh, we compare it uh, with the number of moles of uh, X hydroxide that was used. So we say molarity is equal to a uh, number of moles all over volume times 1000 now how um, many cubic meters now we have our molarity uh, which is 0 0.3 0 0.3 is equal to a uh, body uh, that is a number of moles we can just use x to represent uh, the number of uh, uh, moles. Then all over the volume we used, which is uh, 30 cubic uh, centimeters. Then uh, multiply by 1,000. Uh, multiply by 1,000 cubic centimeters. Now we want to calculate the value of x. Okay, uh, x will be equal to 30 multiplied by 0 0.3 uh, divided by uh, 1,000. Uh, divided by 1,000. With that. We are going to get the number of moles of. Um, uh, we are going to get the number of moles of uh, uh, X. So the number of moles of uh, uh, dilute sulfuric acid that was used is 0 0.009 uh, moles. 0 0.009 uh, moles. And our question is asking: uh, Calculate the number of moles of X hydroxide that. Uh, reactive. Now we come here we say um, with a balanced chemical equation we say uh, the more ratio of uh, X hydroxide is to uh, dilute sulfuric acid and this one is 2 into uh, 1. Then um, the number of moles of uh, dilute sulfuric acid that was reacted is uh, 0 0.009 0 0.009 moles. Then we say, if 0 0.009 moles are in 1, how about uh, 2? If 0 0.009 in 1 is equal to um, 0 0.009 moles, how about uh, 2? So this one could be 2 multiplied by, uh, 2 multiplied by 0 0.009 divided by one, which we are going to get uh, 0 0.018 uh, moles. 0 0.018 uh, moles. So the number of moles of uh, uh, the number of moles of uh, X hydroxide that we use is 0 0.018 uh, moles. 0 0.018 uh, moles. Now, let's come back and calculate the relative atomic mass of uh, X. We can calculate the relative atomic mass of uh, X hydroxide. That is what we are uh, uh, solution. Um, in our information, we are told uh, this one, X hydroxide, is containing um, 40.3 grams a liter, 40.3 grams per liter. And then the volume, uh, volume used uh, for complete neutralization is equal to 250 cubic centimeters. And we have calculated the number of moles of, uh, uh, we have calculated the number of moles of X hydroxide uh, that was used. Now we can calculate molarity by saying molarity is equal to uh, molarity is equal to number of moles, which is 0 0.00 and uh, 0 0.018 moles, 0 0.018 moles, divided by the volume used, which is 250, uh, multiplied by uh, 1,000 uh, cubic uh, centimeters, cubic centimeters. So with this, we are going to get uh, 0, which would give us 0. Uh, uh, 0.72 moles per uh, liter.
small parameters. But this one, uh, this molarity here is very small. Uh, we need um, to change the volume. The volume here is not 250. Uh, we need to change uh, the question here. Uh, this volume here is 25 cubic centimeters. So the question reads, a solution containing 40.3 grams of substance X uh, hydroxide per liter, um, 25 cubic centimeters, we have corrected, 25 cubic centimeters of this solution requires uh, 30 cubic centimeters of 0.3 molar of salt dilute to alkylic 6 acid. So when we correct, we get 0 0.72 um, uh, molar, 0 0.72 uh, molar. So our molarity will be equals to 0 0.018 divided by 25 cubic centimeters multiplied by 1000, which would give us 0 0.72 uh, uh, molar, which would give us 0 0.72 molar. In the beginning, remember I said, molarity can be calculated with grams per liter all over uh, RFM, grams per liter all over RFM. Now, uh, we have our molarity, which is 0 0.72 molar, which is equal to 0 0.72, um, and then we have our grams per liter, which is 40.3 grams, 40.3 grams per liter, all over the R and M, all, all over the R and M. Now, we need... Um, uh, we need the RFM of uh, uh, X hydroxide so that we can uh, uh, get the value of F. So we say RFM could be equals to 40.3 grams per liter all of uh, uh, the molarity, which is 0 0.72 uh, moles uh, per liter, which would give us 55.97. Uh, two. Now that a uh, uh, relative formula mass is given into one decimal point, we run off to one decimal point, which will give us uh, 56, 56 uh, point, uh, zero grams. Now we are not through with the question. I uh, want to calculate. Um, we want to calculate the value of uh, uh, x. We want to calculate the value of x. Now. Um, the uh, total RFM of uh, uh, X hydroxide is 56. Now we need the value of uh, uh, X, we say. X would be equals to, uh, that is uh, X plus the molar mass of oxygen, which is 15.0, plus the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 1.0, which will give us uh, 56.0. Uh, so, the value of x would be equal to x plus 17.0 is equal to 56.0. So the value of x would be equal to 56.0 minus 17.0, which would give us x is equal to 29.0. A very simple concept of a, a mole. Thank you for viewing. Please uh, share and make sure uh, you remember to subscribe for more uh, videos. Let's meet next lesson.